Good morning. This is the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Friday, May 25th. Again, this will be the last smoke dispersion briefing of the season as we transition to our fire weather briefings this coming Sunday for the remainder of fire season. Looking at precipitation over the past seven days, it has been a wet one across a good portion of Nevada into Idaho and into Wyoming. The green indicates uh, by the key here on the left, anywhere from a half inch to over an inch of rainfall. Some lighter amounts uh, donut hold in in some areas, but even those areas that didn't get as much rain stayed cool and fairly moist with high humidity. Uh, you can see how much below normal we still stayed across portions of southern and southeastern Utah. That's our main concern for fires as we go into the end of May and early June. We'll be keeping, keeping an eye on that. Otherwise, most areas no problems. How that is affecting our fuels, we look at the 10-hour fuel moisture first. Again, uh, really wetted down here across western Nevada. But you can see that uh, the further east you go and south, that uh, 10 hour fuels are in the 3 to 4 percent range. Of course, those can change fairly quickly in the result of 10 hours. Now your 100 hour fuels, most critical again across southern Utah, especially southeastern Utah. Um, anywhere in the orange actually can support large fires if your uh, other fuels are dry as well. And uh, we look at our 1,000-hour fuels, and again, across our southern areas, that shade in orange, 1,000-hour uh, fuels are in the upper single digits, which is where they typically are towards the middle to latter part of June. So we're about three weeks ahead of time in terms of that. So that's mainly our focus as we're going to fire season. Uh, the current map, though, shows another uh, late cold season low pressure system with clouds moisture and showers pushing up into the sierra and it will start affecting portions of nevada and eventually northern utah most of idaho and wyoming over the next couple of days and for today there's the weather map the low and the green areas of clouds and precipitation uh, mainly across california just starting to nudge a little bit into nevada dispersion with the low excellent in the area in the white Pretty strong transport winds coming out of the south and southwest uh, in those orange shades gusting over 30 miles per hour. Good vertical mixing. Now for Saturday, that low starts trudging eastwards. You can see that moisture now covers a good chunk, at least the western half of Nevada with clouds and occasional showers. Again, excellent dispersion underneath that low. Um, transport winds coming out of the northwest behind the low, coming up out of the south ahead of it. Gusty winds down in the monuments area and down towards Moab, the orange shades will be uh, gusts of over 30 miles per hour. These transport winds will are uh, approximate as gust. Good overall mixing heights of any case of any large fires popping up or any fire activity, the further south and east you go across uh, portions of uh, northern Arizona or uh, southeast Utah, the better the chances of that happening. Now on Sunday, that low starts weakening a bit, but the moisture left over with it starts slipping into northern Utah and eastern uh, Nevada with clouds and showers and high humidity continuing. Uh, your transport winds and mixing heights here. Uh, the Utah Clearing Index shows excellent overall values, as good as you can get across most of the state all throughout the period. Now this is how much precipitation we are expecting over the next three days, basically from uh, uh, Friday morning through Monday morning, so over the holiday weekend. You can see uh, the shades in blue, half inch to an inch of precipitation for northern Nevada, southern Idaho, into parts of the central mountains of Idaho, elsewhere across a half of Nevada, anywhere from a tenth to uh, a quarter inch of rainfall. And uh, that'll be accompanied by fairly long uh, high humidity values. Now for Monday, the, the closed low uh, cuts across northern uh, northern Utah and uh, still has residual moisture across northern Utah parts of northeast Nevada. Excellent overall dispersion. It's not until Tuesday that that system finally moves out into the Plain States. We get a brief ridge of high pressure building in with drying, another trough of low pressure coming on in which sharpens up on Wednesday and then Thursday the trough sharpens enough to again cause clouds and showers across north central Nevada and into, into Idaho again as we go into Thursday, ahead of it across Utah, especially southern Utah, it'll stay not only dry with low humidity but also with strong southwest winds picking up. So we'll be watching that situation carefully. Our rainfall accumulation days four and five next Monday through next Wednesday, basically May 28th through the 30th, it's across our northern areas basically a, a tenth of an inch or so, a couple hundredths of an inch. 
uh, and then accumulations from Wednesday, from next Wednesday to next Friday, taking us into June 1st. That next system could cause some light showers, maybe a low-end wetting rain again over portions of north central Nevada. Our 8 to 14 day outlook shows above normal temperatures as we head into the first week of June. Also, drier than normal conditions across western areas across Nevada. It's a kind of a change. Still some lingering moisture across eastern Idaho, far northeastern Utah, and into Wyoming during that same time period. This concludes our briefing. Again, this is the last smoke briefing of the uh, spring season. Our fire season briefings begin this Sunday. Have a great day.